Hello and welcome back to the channel. Daniel Hall here. I'm so pleased that you're with us. One of the things that I wanted to cover today, and it's a really good one, so buckle in, because today I'm actually going to teach you step by step how to create an information product the fastest, easiest way I know possible. And the reason why this is such a big deal is because I know that you have solutions in your head that if you could actually bake them into an information product and get that information product to the marketplace, that that information product will have value to other people. In other words, other people will want to buy it. And this system that I'm about to actually walk you through will actually is one of the easiest ways that I know of that literally within just a few hours of watching this training, you could have a information product up and ready for sale. Now, before I go any further, I do want to ask you if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now. And of course, can completely annihilate that like button and of course hit the little bell notification as well that's all great for the youtube algorithm and that actually helps me to to support doing more videos like this so let's jump into the training right now and let's start by just giving you sort of a baseline here i have well, for many years preached and taught publishing self-publishing specifically to help people get their books, their audiobooks, their Kindle books, their Nook books into the marketplace. And I have actually created tons of information products around and for this niche. And the one thing that I realized, even though I am primarily a book publisher and author, that most of my business revenue actually came not from books, although a substantial amount of money comes from that, but from information products. And seldom do any of my information products make less than $100,000 and many, many of them make significantly more than that. But what I really have found with helping people to build their business is that they struggle. They realize that an information product would be helpful for their business, that they could really help their market and those people that they are trying to, to serve, but they, they sort of stumble over the process because there's actually quite a bit to it if you do the usual model. But I wanted to bring you a way that is really one of the easiest ways to create an information product that can have you up and running just like that. And I was thinking to myself, what if I could show you a great way to to create quick down and dirty video info products that essentially did not require you to buy any screen capture software didn't even require you to have video hosting or a s uh, amazon s3 account didn't require you to even have a website or or an autoresponder and meant that you wouldn't have to worry about video dimensions or where to host your products or even or even how your buyers can actually access your training once you sold it to them that's that could all be a hassle believe me all right if you don't get that right and what if i could show you how to also do this do all of it with minimal tech knowledge okay so you don't have to be this tech guru tech wizard at all as a matter of fact you can be a technophobe like i am and you can still pull this off the last thing that and sort of the sort of the cherry on top is you can do all of this okay everything i'm about to teach you how to do with all free resources completely free so you can do all of this for free okay so i was sitting there trying to figure out a way to teach this very thing when I was sitting at my computer screen, this very computer screen that you're looking at right here, and I'm thinking. And it finally dawned on me that the very tool that I needed was on the screen already, and it was this thing right here. It's called the Jing Sun, the Jing Sun. As a matter of fact, I have it sitting over here on the side that you can see it over here. This is the Jing Sun. This is a free screen capture software and with Jing you could record 
upload, paste, and profit. And in no time, you could build high quality information products that you could sell on marketplaces from Etsy to Fiverr uh, to Amazon even, okay? So let's jump into that right now. I wanna give you my number one secret to creating a successful info product. And it's a really, really important thing that you understand that regardless of the type of information product you aim to make, that you are solving just one problem with one solution. Okay, so people buy information products to solve their problem. You have solutions, ostensibly so. So what I'm saying to do is look at the marketplace that you wish to serve, look at one of their main problems, and choose one solution that you have, okay? That's it, that's all that goes into this. I call this the one and one formula. And the good news is, this is easy to do, and it's perfect for these sort of video mini courses that I'm gonna teach you how to do right now. As a matter of fact, this is what one of the mini courses actually looks like. You see, it's basically just a two page PDF document with embedded videos on it. So these are video trainings with embedded Jing links. And here are the steps to actually go and create one of these. First off, you're gonna decide on a short training using the one and one or one-on-one -on -one formula that I just uh, taught you. Then you're actually going to break down your steps. So you have a solution, right? That solution you're trying to bake into an information product. So that solution usually requires some sort of process, right? You do this first, you do this second, you do this third, and bada bing, you get the result that you're after, right? All information products are like that, or at least all good information products are like that. So what I'm telling you to do is to look at the process that you would actually use to solve somebody else's problem, okay? Break that down into steps. So what you're gonna do is create three to four PowerPoint or keynote slides. Also, this could be Google Slides, by the way, and kind of take people through the process. Now, you could also plan a short demo. If, if you could put something up on your computer screen, like a software program or a website where you're teaching somebody something, you could also do that as well, but you could basically build that in as long as, as long as you're stepping people through the process. It's easy to follow and it's easy to implement. That's what you're looking for as you sort of break up your, your steps, your process into steps and then put those onto a PowerPoint slide or PowerPoint slides. I'm gonna show you this in just a second so you can see how it's done. Then you're gonna fire up Jing once you've done this, once you have your steps in a PowerPoint slide or some kind of slide, you're gonna fire up Jing and you're basically, you're going to talk your way through each one of the steps. Very important point here with Jing, you have a five minute limit per video. So you're going to have to make sure that that what you have to say, you could say in each step in just five minutes. Okay. Now, if that means you need to break up one step into three steps so that you could do that, so be it. Okay. But, but that's the thing you need to kind of keep in mind. By the way, that's a very, very important thing because the shorter you can keep your steps, the more likely it is that your buyer of your information product will actually get through it, okay? Because they wanna just kinda keep going, go, 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 go. Give me just the meat. That's what you're looking to provide these folks. Then you're going to record that, as I said. You're gonna upload those videos and then paste them into an MS Word document. I'm gonna show you how to do this step-by-step step here in just a second. These are just the steps so you see where I'm going with it. Then you're gonna do a short narrative with descriptions for each video, and then you're going to save this as a PDF, okay, as a PDF. By the way, this PDF is the deliverable. That is what you send to people either via email or put it on a thank you page when they buy your product, okay? So let's jump into this. Let's start with the very first step, decide on a short training. So what's the purpose of the training? How much are you going to 
try to sell the training for 27, 37, etc. Remember the one problem, one solution formula. And as you're sort of thinking about this, look, look at what is already selling in your marketplace. So don't just, you know, cherry pick some, you know, idea for an information product out of thin air without doing any market research. What you have to do is you've got to figure out what people are already buying, okay, and give them more of that. That's the other thing that's really, really crucial that you do, okay? Um, and one great place to do that, by the way, is to look at gravity at ClickBank in your niche. So in other words, go to ClickBank, look in your niche, and look at the high gravity products that affiliates are having an easy time selling. And that is usually a great way to determine what you should create your product about. Then once you've done this, you're going to break up your process into short steps. Uh, think about if it takes you personally about five to 10 minutes to accomplish a, ta uh, a, a task in your in your own sort of mastery of the process, that's about how long each one of these videos should be, okay? So again, the shorter the task, the easier the task, the easier it is for you to actually do this. Then you're gonna write steps as bullet points. I like to put all my bullet points um, in PowerPoint and then break down each step um, into three or four slides that you basically narrate yourself through. And since, once again, Jing has a five minute uh, video limit you have to you have to be very brief you have to like be stepping through it very very quickly um, then you're going to fire up Dr Jing and then start your PowerPoint keynote or Google slides and then basically narrate yourself through those slides much like I'm doing right now with this slide deck that I'm showing you all just the same sort of process you could just emulate what I'm doing here then, once you've done that, you're going to upload that video and paste the link, and you're basically going to repeat this for each step in the process all the way through. Now, what I, I wanna do here is I actually wanna walk you through how to do this right now, and let me do that by bringing on this. So here is a, basically a, as you can see, a four-part step. This is a, this is if I were doing a information product called how to revitalize old blog post with new images and get brand new traffic right so that's that's let's say that that is the name of my product and what i want you to see here let me put this make this smaller is it's 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 just in f uh, four steps or actually four little slides so this this slide deck is represents just one step in the overall process you get it so what you're gonna do is you're going to actually fire this up. So we're gonna go from beginning and I'm going to actually fire up Jing. And you can see Jing right over here. So let's, let's try to do this. We're going to come over to Jing here. What we're gonna do here is we're going to go to click the little crosshairs and then I'm just going to choose the operative error area here because what Jing's gonna do is it just going to take a little screen capture of the area that you outline, okay? So there we go. So now I'm going to click this button that says capture video. And I'm just going to show you kind of mock do it here so that you know what to do for your own information product. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click there. It's looking at all my equipment, cool. We're gonna say continue, mic is on, and I start my product. Hi, this is Daniel Hall, and welcome to how to revitalize old blog posts with new images to get brand new traffic. And one of the one of the things that many bloggers face is their post growing stale. And it, often you can in fact revitalize these old blog posts by creating what I call typographics and making typographics out of them. Now, what are typographics? These are short, attractive graphical representations of the content in your post. These new images are included in the original post and then distributed to such sites as print, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, etc. 
and you basically go on through the whole process, right? You, in, to, to the last couple of things, and there it is. Then you're going to click right here. We're gonna click finish. Our video has just been made. I will name this something like step one, blog. And now I'm going to click this little uh, share via screencast. So with, that's the other thing with, with uh, Jing, you get a free screencast account. So it's uploading that bad boy right now for us. And in just a second, it's going to have a little pop-up, just like you see there. It's been uploaded to Screencast, and now we're ready to paste the, the video that we just made. So let's just go ahead and paste that right here. Boom, there it is. And if I click it, so there it is right there. All you gotta do is test it out, make Stop sure- my product. There it is. Hi, this is Daniel Hall, and welcome to Works Great. This is what people actually then have. So let's go back over to our PowerPoint here and continue on in this process. Then once you've done that, you're going to do a, a little bit of textual narrative. So above each link in your Word document, let your readers and viewers know, okay, what that particular video is all about. Add a nice cover, a copyright notice, and bada bing, you've got a great, a great little product to sell. Here's what it actually looks like, uh, the, the textual narrative that is. You're going to basically introduce the video people are about to watch, then put it all in context with each one of the little text, uh, the, the narrative that you have there. Then once you've got all of that done, you're simply going to save this bad boy as a PDF, okay? Once again, it's this PDF that's the deliverable. That is what you're selling, all right? Now, how do you use this? Well, you could, again, you could sell it on your own website. Uh, you could sell it on Fiverr, on uh, Etsy, anywhere essentially that you could sell an ebook because that's really what this is. It's, it's sort of like an Uber ebook. And I wanted to leave you with this hot tip. You could actually create these specifically to drive free traffic because you could do one of these things and uh, you could actually post it to Scribe, uh, SlideShare, Hashdoc, and other places where instead of doing the entire list, so let's say that you have your, your process has five steps in it to accomplish what you need, right? You'd only do the first three, okay? You don't do the, the last two. To get the last two trainings, people have to go subscribe to your list. You get it? It works great. And of course, you could also use this as an incentive to get people to join your email list, okay? So, I hope that you could see yourself doing this. This is, the, in fact, the, the quickest way I know of to create an information product, and it is very fast. It is completely free. Uh, and you could sell that PDF or give it away however you want to use it. You've got it to as an asset in of your business. So if you love this video, go ahead and annihilate that like button. Of course, subscribe and hit the bell notification and we will see you on the next video.